Good evening, everybody. Uh, Christian Allen here again with another journey in my journey. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I look a little brighter, sexier too, if I don't say myself. And I might sound even better. That's because I just bought myself a new selfie stick slash tripod with a light and a new microphone. Since I'm going to be creating videos, I thought I need to invest in some nicer equipment that will make these videos easier to watch. And I bought one on Amazon. I think it was like $180 or something. I'll post the link in the bottom. But it's a Movo, Creators Wanted. And this is the little, what, look, what the setup looks like. It's got a little wind uh, thing, a mic cover, a mic, a light, um, a cord to connect to the phone, a little clicker button, and a little cleaner thing. Also comes with this cool carrying case, so I can always have it with me. And it also has a little handle if you want to do like selfies in the field or something. And also a little tripod. So that's what it's standing on right now. But the cool thing about the uh, get up um, if you see down here, it's got a little level, so you can see how level you are, which I think is cool. And it's got another case, so I can carry the tripod. That's not why I made the video today, but I thought since I'm looking brighter and sexier and sound a lot better, I will show you what I got. But today, I am going to talk about follow through. So, um, you know, we've been talking about, um, we've been talking about um, communication uh, is important, is vital in um, a small, in business, small business, any business, size business pretty much. But communication is great, but if you don't have any follow through, then what is the point? If you're gonna tell somebody that you're gonna call them the next day, by golly, you better call them. If you tell them you're gonna follow up with them in two weeks after service, see how everything's going, you better follow up with them. If you say that you're gonna follow up, give them a follow up text or call to see if they're interested in services, do what you say you're gonna do. It not only says that you're an honest person and you're somebody that you should do business with, but it also shows that you're organized and you're together and you're a man of not only your words, but action. Or woman, um, don't wanna, you know, trying to stay, you know, correct in verbiage and everything. But that's just it. So if you've followed me on Facebook, you've known I've looking, been looking for a new uh, HVAC plumber, um, heating and air guy, because the company I've been using, um, is just drop the ball, honestly. You know, whether it's not showing up for the appointment time, not telling me they're running late, not able to give me appointment times anymore, apparently this year, I guess because of COVID or whatever, which is fine, but they don't do the, barely do the call ahead text when um, I have a service plan with them, maintenance plan. They don't tell me it's, you know, it's past due or it's expired, so it's lapsed, and, and you know, it's, the communication has been horrible, but also the follow through, which is, which is why I was looking for another company, and then I had another company lined up, a smaller company, a little more local company, um, and well, they, they fell through too. So, so far, third time to try them, they say, so the third company I've tried to contact, seems like it's a great, Great local small company. Um, they're easy to talk to, easy to set up an appointment. Um, so far, their follow through has been great. So that's why they're gonna get my business. Um, it's key in a competitive nature um, environment that we are with so many options, so many other, you know, so many choices, so many providers to go to that you set yourself apart. And part of setting yourself apart is making first impressions. If your first impressions aren't good, then what are, you know, 
that's what people remember you by is your first impression of the experience. You want to make the experience the best experience possible. And if that experience, if you don't make that experience great, then they're gonna go with your other competitor. Now, my favorite saying is, I don't have any competitors because um, I don't compete with anybody else, which for me, that is true. But there's hundreds of other pest control companies, large, small, medium, of course, in the end of the day, I am competing. I'm trying to show you that I'm going to provide you the best service possible, that I am a very knowledgeable person, and I can perform the service as advertised, as I said, uh, over promise and over deliver with what, everything that I'm saying. And so part of being able to over deliver is executing. If you can't execute, you're not going to win anything. Just ask any sports team, hockey, basketball, football, whatever the case may be. The coach can draw this grand scheme uh, game plan, you know, put all the X's, put all the O's where they're supposed to be, draw all the lines and tell them, you know, make this perfect plan. But if their players don't execute, it was all for naught. The other team's gonna win, you're gonna be sad and depressed and uh, defeated because you lost and so that's how it is in life and in business not only communicate with your customers what you're gonna do and then follow through and execute plain and simple so I hope this was helpful um, you know I do have this new YouTube channel up now so if you don't if you like what you've heard and watched today I would Appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and also give my video a thumbs up and share with your friends so that this knowledge that I'm sharing with you is not only shared with you, but your friends and their friends and so on and so on. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a good evening and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. Good night.